Imagine walking on the grounds of modern civilization, only to find yourself standing atop the oldest human-made structure in the Americas. Quite a thought, isn't it? Now let's transport ourselves to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where such a place exists, not in the depths of an untouched jungle, but right on the bustling campus of Louisiana State University. These mounds, seemingly simple and unassuming, are a testament to the rich tapestry of human history that we are only just beginning to unravel. They are not the stuff of legends or tales, but tangible structures that have withstood the test of time and elements. A recent study led by geologist Brooks Elwood and a team of dedicated researchers has shed light on these ancient mounds. They've used an array of modern techniques, including extracting sediment cores and radiocarbon dating, to delve into the past and learn more about these structures. The findings are nothing short of remarkable. Mound A and Mound B, as they are colloquially known, are believed to date back to a period far older than one might initially presume. Mound B, the older of the two, dates back to around 5,500 years ago. Just to put that into perspective, that's a whole millennium older than the Great Pyramids of Egypt. But before we get into the rest of this video, we want to take a quick second to tell you about our special limited time offer. We are giving away free copies of our newest book, 13 Black Scholars Who Admitted There Were Black People in the Americas Before Columbus. This exclusive offer is our way of saying thank you for your incredible support. Dive deep into history with us and uncover truths that challenge what we've been taught. But hurry, this offer won't last forever. Click the link in the description and grab your free copy. Now let's get back to the video. The construction of these mounds is a testament to the ingenuity of our ancestors. And so our journey into the past continues, as we delve into the heart of these ancient mounds. Constructed from simple yet sturdy materials, these mounds are made primarily of clay, layered with ash from burned reed and cane, and even microscopic animal bone fragments. The process must have been laborious, requiring not just physical strength, but also a deep understanding of the land and resources. It's a marvel to think that, without modern tools or machinery, our ancestors shaped the earth to their will, creating these monumental structures that have stood the test of time. Now let's turn the pages of history and explore the purpose behind these mounds. With no evidence of cooking hearths or habitation, researchers have leaned towards a religious or ceremonial use for these structures. Perhaps they served as a place of worship, a gathering point for the community to come together and connect with the divine. Or maybe they were a ceremonial ground, used for rites of passage or to commemorate important events and milestones. Interestingly, there is a notable difference in the ages of these two mounds. Mound B, the older of the two, was built centuries before Mound A. But why is this so? Researchers speculate that the construction of Mound A could have been influenced by social, religious, or environmental changes. Perhaps it was built to honor a significant event or a revered leader. Or maybe it was constructed as a response to a shift in the community's religious beliefs or practices. Whatever the reason, the existence of these two mounds, built centuries apart yet standing side by side, paints a fascinating picture of the evolution of human society and culture over time. These mounds, constructed from clay, ash, and microscopic animal bone fragments, tell us a story of a time long past. They remind us of our ancestors' resilience, their deep connection with the land, and their ability to adapt and evolve. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of these ancient structures, we gain not just knowledge, but a deeper understanding of our shared human heritage and our place in the world. The environment has always played a crucial role in human history, and it holds true for these ancient mounds. Picture this, around 8,200 years ago, the world experienced a sudden climate shift. This change, as studies suggest, had profound effects on the indigenous population living in the region. The once bustling activity around Mound B came to a sudden halt. The traces of human life dwindled, leaving the mound abandoned. This period of abandonment coincides with the aforementioned climate shift, leading researchers to believe that the harsh conditions might have forced the indigenous people to retreat. However, the resilience of these ancient societies shone through when, after a significant gap, Mound A was erected. Unlike its predecessor, Mound B, the materials for Mound A were sourced from a different location, possibly due to the changed environmental conditions. Now, here's where it gets even more intriguing, the mounds aren't randomly placed. They align with the star Arcturus, one of the brightest stars in the Northern Hemisphere. 
this celestial alignment adds another layer of complexity to their purpose and significance, hinting at a level of astronomical understanding that was quite advanced for its time. The mounds bear witness to the resilience of ancient human societies in the face of drastic climate changes. They stand as silent reminders of a time when humans, nature, and the cosmos were intricately intertwined in ways we're still striving to fully understand. Preserving these ancient structures is more than just an academic exercise, it's about honoring our shared human history. Louisiana State University, the custodian of these ancient mounds, holds a critical role in their preservation. Over the years the mounds have faced challenges posed by modern usage, with every passing day the risk of erosion, damage and even destruction by human activities increases. To mitigate this, LSU has implemented protective measures. A path has been established around the mounds creating a buffer zone of native plants. This not only serves as a natural barrier but also educates visitors about the local flora. The preservation of these mounds isn't just for the sake of keeping them intact, it's about preserving the legacy of the indigenous peoples who constructed them thousands of years ago. These mounds are silent witnesses to a past civilization, a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of our ancestors. They hold invaluable insights from the materials used in their construction to the astronomical alignment that adds another layer of complexity to their purpose. Preservation efforts are crucial for academic research. Each layer of sediment, each fragment of bone can unveil new information about our past, but beyond that, they serve as a reminder of our connection to the past, of the continuity of human existence. By preserving these mounds we ensure that the stories they hold aren't lost to time. The mounds at LSU are more than just piles of earth, they're a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of our ancestors. Older than the pyramids of Egypt, these mounds stand as silent witnesses to a time long past, when the land we now call Baton Rouge was home to a thriving ancient civilization. They provide us with invaluable insights into human activity in the Americas thousands of years ago. These structures, composed of clay, ash and microscopic animal bone fragments, were likely used for religious or ceremonial purposes, and their alignments with the star Arcturus hint at a sophistication that is awe-inspiring. Yet, their preservation is a challenge we face today, a challenge that LSU is actively addressing. Our respect and support for these archaeological sites is not just about academic research. It's about honoring the legacy of the indigenous peoples who shaped our history. As we walk on these grounds of ancient civilization, we're reminded of our connection to the past and the untold stories that lie beneath our feet. This journey through America's hidden black past is just beginning. If this glimpse into a world lost to time has captured your imagination, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more adventures into the unknown. Lastly, for more information about the names and subjects mentioned in this video, get your copy of the Amazon best-selling book series, 19 White Men Who Admitted There Were Indigenous Black People in the Americas, and 13 Black Scholars Who Admitted There Were Black People in the Americas Before Columbus, by Chase McGee. Link in the description. Stay curious, and keep exploring.